my name is Rachel Bridges and I am the Special Needs Coordinator here at Cantel School. Um, how important is it to match the assistive technologies to the learning barriers of students? Um, I think it's really, really important. Um, in our school we've got um, a number of students with hearing impairments or hearing challenges and actually making sure that they can access the um, curriculum and access the lessons is really important. We've also got quite a high um, pro, um, amount of students that have got English as an additional language. So obviously that's another barrier to their learning. So the um, assistive technology that we've got at the moment using the streamer has actually been really useful to make sure we can meet their challenges, the barriers that they are um, experiencing when they're in lessons. You have actually identified um, the barriers as the way to solve rather than the conditions because you have two different situations where it impacts the students in the same way which is uh, the, the learning one is the person who can't hear the other one who doesn't speak the language yeah. so the same solution seems to apply to both yeah definitely i think um the streamer software that we're using at the moment actually is really beneficial to both um for the student with the hearing impairment she is able to catch up with the missed learning because she can't necessarily hear what the teacher is saying but she is very able very conscientious and she can look back at the transcript and make sure that she has understood all of the lesson understood all the instructions understood all the learning so that actually it's had a huge impact on her being able to access the curriculum on the other hand um, the students that have got the barrier of um, English as an additional language they obviously are quite able in their own language but cannot access English for a number of reasons. Some of them are brand new to the country, some of them have been here quite a while um, and actually just be having the opportunity to have it in their own language has taken away that barrier and again they can now access as many lessons as possible. Um, do you have a process to identify learning barriers or how do you assess a child's need and how do you match it to a particular technology solution? Um, yeah, so when all students arrive in year seven, we've got a variety of data from the primary schools looking at um, their SATs data, looking at any um, particular needs or challenges they already experience. But we also do a vast array of various different testing, reading ages, spelling ages, etc. in year seven. And also anybody that arrives um, mid-year, particularly those that have got English as an additional language, we do similar testing with them. Once we've then gathered all that information together, we can then match any particular support, whether it be um, the streamer program or a reader pen, we would match it to make sure it's um, supporting their particular challenge or their particular barrier. How do you intend to involve families, parents, in this process of assistive technology usage? Yeah, so it's something I know that um, the partial team, the year leaders, are particularly interested in using. Now we've established it in the school, um, the um, year leads are particularly um, looking forward to be able, uh, being able to communicate with parents who have additional language as well because in a meeting situation it can be really difficult to engage them sometimes and therefore um, speak about the particular needs of their student or the pro progress they're making, positive and negative, but it's, it's always good to be able to communicate. Um, so I know that they're very keen to get involved in that and then hopefully we can then potentially maybe even use it at parents' evenings and so on in the future as well. So what, what real impact have you noticed using this streamer uh, on, on the learning of the children? Yeah, so starting with the students that have got English and additional language, obviously, as I said, they um, often become reliant on a teacher or a support system being able to translate for them, but them being able to be much more independent, they are listening much more to the lessons, they are engaged much more in the lessons, they're, um, they're smiling much more, much more confident because they actually can understand what's going on. As I said, they're quite bright generally, but it's just the language barrier. Um, and I think looking, look, looking through the amount of work they are um, producing and the amount of engagement and the learning that's being made, then hopefully it'll progress much quicker than maybe it would have done previously when they would be reliant on the teacher to translate for them rather than being more independent. Um, and also in relation to the young lady that's got the hearing impairment, she um, she's come alive, if I'm honest. She's much more confident. She is much more engaged in all of her lessons. She is producing more work. Again, as I said, she, she can look back at the transcript and make more notes in her book and hopefully therefore apply that in, in revision and so on for exams. And, um, and the support system that's with her as well has definitely seen a difference in relation to how much she uses it and it's progressed as it's gone through.